Just got myself a new e-bike and today I'm going to take it to H2 Design to get a custom frame protection kit. So I'm off to see Henry at H2 Designs. Now they've got an offshoot called We Ride Bikes, which produces frame protection kits for motorbikes and mountain bikes, road bikes, you name it. So Henry, what are we gonna do? Make a template with some big masking tape. But it's a bloody big bike, so you do need... It is a bloody big uh, bike. It's like when you're in school, you draw around, you do a little trace, which is the, uh, the easy bit. Take it off, lay it down flat, and then scan it in on a computer and then draw around it. Oh really? Yeah. Back in, I would say back in the day, it wasn't so long ago, chain stays and everything, it'd all be the same size, and then it'd just be the top tube and the down tube, which would be different, but now they're all doing size specific chain stays. So if anyone wants a custom frame protection kit, what should they do, Henry? But yeah, they should go online to weridebikes.cc do you think .cc sounds cool? It's because .com wasn't available, so... Uh... Now we've got this three-dimensional shape, gone two-dimensional again. Scan it in, so I can draw around it on the computer program. So yeah, once you scanned your uh, shape in, essentially I'm just getting some reference points for the corners. That gives you like your rough shape that we did, and then you can go back in and smooth off all of those lines. If it was your bike, what would you do with it? Design-wise, yeah. Design-wise, let's let's not let's not insult anyone. <laughs> um, on a bike like this, if you print it on clear laminate, you'd see quite subtle design coming through. Obviously, if you print it on a white vinyl, you could have full colour. You could go black base. You know, it depends what you're looking for. There's plenty of tailored fit kits out there that do a good job at what they're designed to do. This is a little bit thicker. Moto grade stuff, um, it's just the right amount of stick, so it's not going to rip your paint off, but it's sticky enough to stay on. So, Henry's just taken the template for my frame. I think he's going to make some kind of like custom sized pieces for the down tube, because down tube's so much bigger than the other bikes. We're going to add some of these bits from the Universal kit. Sort of chosen these ones, which have got lightning bolts on them. Because I thought, lightning bolt, e bike, that makes perfect sense. Because it's already spotlessly clean, I'm just going over it with a bit of a uh, Alcohol cleaner, just shaking, um, shaking up some little bit of soapy water. You can also spray the back of that. I'm not going to because I feel I've got plenty on the frame. So it's pointed at the bottom, which is quite handy because you can just central it in your frame, and then it's just a case of uh, squeegeeing out the water. All you've got to do is keep squeegeeing until all the water's been expelled, and keep going, be persistent. And then the most important thing is once you've fully fitted, you leave it secure for like 24 hours before going out and riding it. Just let the uh, adhesives grab properly. That's really interesting, I've never heard that before. Yeah, so if you just go out and get it soaked, dirty, and then get the big angry beast of a jet washer on, you are uh, lining yourself up for issues. Again, because there's so many different top tube lengths, and then this is a e-bike, and it's got that there, we fitted the top tube a bit lower down. So we're gonna not use those two, but I've shaped them all, so each one will flow into the next. There's a lot more sort of thought and decision making that goes into the designing of these things than I thought. It's universal, so it's not fully tailored per frame, but there's enough bits in there to, to make it work for a wide variety of frames. If you did want a full one of those invisible frame kits by different brands, yeah, it's great. It covers all your paint and whatnot. Um, they don't do printed graphics, so if you want to add a bit of style, you could go something like that on top. Mm -hmm. uh, and it also adds protection. Henry has put pretty much all the frame protection on my bike. He's gonna make a custom down tube protection piece, and then he's gonna meet me tomorrow and we're gonna fit it outside. And there we have it, the bike is done. The frame protection's on, I've given it 24 hours for the adhesive to grab, and I think I'm ready for my first ride of the bike. It looks absolutely exceptional. Um, I'm gonna give it a bit of a test for Henry because it's a new type of frame protection that he's doing. I'm gonna take my GoPro with me. I'm gonna do a first ride on this bike. So yeah, watch out for that. <laughs>